And so the theory goes that if we have a great affection for ourselves, then we in turn will have a great affection for our neighbors. But here's what the reality of the Bible says, because it doesn't focus on loving ourselves more so that we can reflect that love to other people. It simply states that we should elevate the love that we have for other people to the love that we already have of ourselves. It's not the same thing as self-esteem. It's not the same thing as self-confidence. This is the fact that we don't have to be taught how to love ourselves. We're actually very good at it. We already do it. We have a natural instinct inside of ourselves to, to put our own interests first. We, we always make sure that we are happy. We always make sure that we are comfortable, first of all, first and foremost. All of us have this. I'm not saying it's a terrible thing, but what Paul is saying is that if it's the only thing, is that's all that we care about, then yes, we have misplaced affection. We should love others with the same passion and the same zeal that we already love ourselves then people will begin to notice. Because the true mark of biblical love is self-sacrifice, not self-love. And Paul knew a lot about self-sacrifice. There are many verses in, in Scripture that tell us to humble ourselves. They're all over, especially in the New Testament. There's lots of places where it says you must humble yourselves before the Lord, before other people. But none of them say that we should love ourselves more than we already do. Mm -hmm.